The Ottoman cavalry saber or the Kajil is the Ottoman variant of the Turco-Mongol saber originating in Central Asia. It is designed as a mounted close combat preferred by the Turkish or the Maluka troops. It is a one-handed saber with a slight curvature enough to cut and thrust effectively. Sharpened back edge of the final section of the blade known as the Yalman was specific to the Kajil. A Kaluk consists of a blade which is normally grooved, a hilt guard and a scarab. Its basic form is an illustration of the sword of Sultan Mehmed II with a slightly curved blade that is sticking at the back. During the reign of Sultan Bizendin and Solomon I, the Turkish sword attained the classic form, becoming shorter, lighter and straighter, making it almost a yatagan. But first, the maces are blunt force weapons which were used for crushing blows against the enemies. These weapons were effective against armoured troops and, and typically were smooth or had a 3 to 12 flagons or blades protruded from the top of the weapon like the Morning Star. But the Ottoman flagellant mace is pretty much a bowl with a stick. And finally, the most famous of them all, the Yattaghan or the Yattagon, makes an appearance in the second half of the 16th century and is an infantry weapon in which the hilt is generally made of bone or ivory and the pommel is flared. Its short, slightly curved blade is sharp on one edge and comes to the flying point on the other end. This form continues on change until the end of the 19th century, where it can still be seen in the Balkan Wars in that period. The Yatta gun sword is widely used in both the Ottoman army and navy, especially in the Jodasins, which were the signature weapons of the corps, the special troops, the shot troops that inspired all the Western Front troops, just, um, the Jan cities. And that is the other short video. I'm sorry, I was going to do Kurdistan. But that was going to be a bit, that was going to be a bit much. So, hope you enjoyed these two quickie videos, kind of. And I'll see you tomorrow, I promise, I promise. Plus, I want to try and get rid of this footage and actually try and start cleaning up. Because Germany, Germany is at least going to be 50 gigs of pure content. And probably like four episodes of filler. But we're going to finish Germany before November ends. So, wake me up when September ends. No, September is almost finished. But anyway, let's go again. You gotta say happy birthday to Ryan. Uh, I think this, but I think this is gonna be quicker, so I might do this quickly. So everyone in the co um, let's get this, let's get this trending, let's get this trending on Twitter. Sorry, paraplegic here. I'm sorry, but let's get this trending on Twitter. Happy birthday, Ryan. Why not? You know, let's do something goofy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something about the weapons of the Ottoman Empire that were still used in modern war. Because yes, sometimes in modern war. You must go back to the primitive stuff to get them out of the trenches. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I almost swallowed my own spit and almost um, choked on my own spit. So that's pleasant to know. Anyway, learn something and I'll see you in the next video. Kurdistan tomorrow for sure, I promise. And uh, another double upload tomorrow maybe might be Transjordan if you're lucky. But Kurdistan is going to be at least like 15, 10 minutes long. So that should be enough. And then we do doubles from Wednesday. Anyway, learn something. This is, I mean, this is basically the outro, but still long. Later, learn something.